Thank you, and a very gracious and grateful welcome to this 11th annual Sacred for Day lecture. And especially delighted that so many students are with us. Particular appreciation to those who planned and prepared for this highly educational forum, especially you, Dr. Kerr, and all others and who collaborated with you. We're very privileged and blessed to have with us Dr. Miguel de la Torre, an outstanding Hispanic scholar, a professor, a researcher, an author, a social ethicist, an advocate for justice, and president of the National Society for Christian Ethics. So we welcome you, Dr. de la Torre. If you want to see the face of Jesus, today in this country, those who are hungry are crossing the border. You see, when you cross the border, you're basically told that it's a two-day journey. In reality, it's about a week. By the second day, you no longer have food to eat. You are going with no food. And same thing with water. They're the ones who are thirsty. You leave, you leave Mexico with two jugs of water. That's all you can carry. By the second day, both jugs are gone. It is so bad people drink from cesspools that have dead animals in it. The hungry and the thirsty are crossing the border right now. They're naked because you have um, banditos on the road that basically when they see the immigrants coming, they rob them of everything, including their clothes, just in case they're hiding jewelry or money in their clothes. That they sewed up some, you know, some, some, something in their clothes. They take the clothes as well to search it later. So you walk the trails and you see clothes, pants, dresses, just all along the side. They're the naked. Obviously, they're the aliens. They're the ones who are sick because they end up in hospitals after the damage that they do to their bodies, going without water and food for days. And of course, thanks to ICE, they're the ones who are in prison. Why do they come? Why am I here? Now, if you are asleep, you may want to wake up at this point because this is the important stuff. <laughs> when a country builds roads into another country for the purpose of extracting its cheap labor and its raw materials, why should we be surprised that the people in those countries take those same roads following everything that has been stolen from them? I am here following my sugar, rum, and tobacco. I am here following everything that has been stolen from me. I have this theology of hopelessness. In other words, I don't see the problem being solved anytime soon. Not in my lifetime, nor in the lifetime of my children. But this is not a hopelessness of despair. You have to realize, I'm not talking about that I'm despaired and what can we do. I sometimes find that hope becomes a privilege. But we need to spend some time in the misery and the hopelessness of the Saturday because that's where so many of the world is today. And promises of Sunday resurrection may not do it at this point. We may just have to realize that we fight the good fight even if we don't know that Sunday's around the corner.